Hi, I'm going to do a, a YouTube review today on the Perception, and the model is the Hook 10.5 Angler. Um, I have never done a YouTube video, um, but I always like going to YouTube to review things I'm going to buy, bigger items, and there was really nothing there about this, this canoe, this kayak. So, um, figured I'd pay it back a little bit and put a review on there so people interested could see what it is and uh, see what I thought maybe. Um, okay, this boat is uh, ten and a half feet long and um, I got it at uh, Field and Stream Dick's Sporting Goods. I paid $4.50 for it. It was $100 off. It was on sale at their uh, 4th of July sale. And, Okay, basically, the boat has a pretty big cockpit, which I like, um, and has the molded-in handles, uh, bungees on the front. Uh, has a really nice dashboard you can put stuff in. It comes with the Scotty rod holder, which is right there. And there's a place in the dash to bolt that to. There's actually another one over here. Um, the Scotty, the, the, the base mount, you can put all kinds of other things in there. It has a fish finder mount and other different mounts uh, you can use. So that's kind of nice. It comes with that. And um, also comes with a an anchor, which uh, this particular boat, they could not find an anchor when I bought it. So they give me this, this uh, Yak Gear anchor in place of the one they couldn't find, which is okay. And... Um, so the boat has a, a trolley line system for the anchor right here running front to back and has one cleat on the side uh, has two rod holders one there one there right behind the seat the only thing I do not like about the rod holders is uh, there's a bottom to there and uh, they're not all that deep uh, I don't think I'll ever lose a rod but if I tip it too far I'm afraid a rod may fall out now I like the the tank well instead of the enclosed rubber hatch. Um, I was afraid I could not reach behind the seat, open the hatch, and get something I need out of there. So uh, there's a there's a spot there for a milk crate. Looks like a milk crate will fit perfect. Uh, you can tie it down there and hopefully reach in and get what you need out of there. Um, there's a nice molded handle in the back. Has a drain plug. In the hull, the back of the hull, you can see has uh, some big channels on it for stability, tracking, whatever. Uh, there's some underneath too, more more channels, grooves. Um, let's see, the seat looks pretty decent. Um, I really don't know. I have not had this in the water yet, so I'm going to do that on the second part of the video. Um, all in all, I think it's a pretty decent boat perception's got a good name now um perception does make one called the sound and it is from what i could tell the exact same hull body so you could go to youtube and look up the perception sound and it is pretty much the same hull body as far as i can tell um, so now i am i'm 56 years old 205 pounds and about 5'9". Um, I have never been in a kayak before. Never have been in one. So this is going to be a first. I've, I've got a canoe. Had had different boats. I've got a power boat. Um, so the next part of the video, we're going to go down to the water and see if I can get in it without tipping it and use it without tipping it and see how this thing works. Because I've never been in a kayak. So... When we go down to the water, um, I'm filming this on a GoPro, and if you know about GoPros, they have different backs, so I'm going to put the waterproof back on my GoPro when I go down there to film the rest of it in case I fall in, so the sound may be lower when we get down there because with the waterproof back, uh, you really can't hear that well, so I'll take it down there and get in it, do a little paddling around, and um, see what happens.
Okay, here we are in the water. Uh, seen some reviews on how to get in a kayak in the water. I've never done it. So I'm going to try one here and see what happens. Here we go. So far not going good. in and this thing is so far so good get off the bank here okay we're off the bank okay this thing is pretty stable Wow, this thing really paddles nice compared to my canoe. This thing really moves. Okay. Never been in a kayak before? So far, so good. Let's try to turn here. This is going to be great. I like it. I like it a lot. This is going to be great to fish out of. It's going to be awesome. I like it. Easy to paddle, easy to steer, a lot more stable than what I thought. Okay, I'm rocking side to side intentionally. And this does feel very stable, very stable. Yeah, I think you really have to screw up bad to flip this thing. As long as you're paying attention all the time, I think, uh, I think this is a nice boat. Nice boat. Very happy with my purchase. Very happy with the price. Uh, I would recommend this to a beginner or anyone else, actually. I did get the paddles at Field and Stream uh, on sale. Also, I think they were about 50 bucks on sale or something like that. Uh, not a not a real top of the line paddle, but it works really well so far. The only thing I wasn't anticipating is getting this water in the boat off of the paddle. Um, I got the recommended paddle length that they recommended at the store. Maybe I should have gotten longer. This is a 220. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just what kayaks do. Maybe they just get, get water in the boat. I don't know. But, uh, I need to carry a sponge with me. Anyway. But in the summer, it doesn't matter. Get a little wet, that's okay.
Okay, I'm rocking pretty hard here and by the shore in case I slip. But uh, I'll tell you what, this thing is really a lot more stable than what I thought. So, um, well, that concludes the maiden voyage of this kayak. So, um, I'm going to try and get out now. <laughs> See how this goes. See if I can get out without getting wet. I think I need to back in. Okay. And I'm almost out. Hit him out. Didn't flip it. Okay. Okay, I just pulled it out of the water after the first trip. Um, I know you really couldn't hear me when I was out there because of the waterproof back on the camera so I'm going to talk a little bit more about what happened out there um, it's really a lot easier to get into than what I thought and it's a whole lot more stable than what I thought uh, overall I really like it it's um, it's even better than what I thought it was going to be so uh, I was able to get out of it okay <laughs> uh, the only thing I didn't show is uh, after I got out of the the boat um, tripped over an underwater stick and slipped in the mud and fell after I got out, so uh, you missed that part. But a um, couple features I didn't show originally: um, it's a cup holder right there in the seat, which is nice. A little tackle tray, whatever tray, right here. Uh, it's got a track system for the foot pegs, which you can't see, so you can adjust it to the your height. And um, it does have some grooves here in the front of the cockpit for the paddle. So you can kind of lay the paddle in there. Um, and the rod holders, again, um, I think they're going to be okay. Here's one of my spinning rods. Uh, it's, I think I would have a hard time losing a rod out of there. It's probably about five, six inches deep. Um, here's a bait casting rod with a longer handle. Um, you know, it's a little bit loose, but, um, as long as you're not going to tip it over, you'll probably be okay. Uh, you may want to put a, put a leash on that one with a longer handle if you had one like that, just in case. Uh, and there's the, the crate in the back. There's a square indentation in the well that, uh, egg crate milk crate sets in perfectly so um, this is pretty much what it's going to look like for me when I go out to fish might have one more rod in the rod holder up front but um, yeah overall I really like it. it's really really stable I tried to rock it out there rock it back and forth I mean you know I could have flipped it as a kayak I could have flipped it if I wanted to but um, I think it'd be pretty difficult to flip in a lake situation maybe in current if you got caught in a bad way it might flip over on you but I think I'll all do that so but this one here I like it's pretty stable and um, overall I would recommend it I'm really happy with it